Before you can make the most of using Jarvis, you need to understand how Jarvis thinks. Jarvis often produces astounding content, but sometimes goes off the rails or repeats himself or produces content that you just flat out don't like. Well, understanding how Jarvis thinks will greatly improve your ability to get high quality content and troubleshoot the low quality content. In the next few lessons, we are gonna cover what data Jarvis is trained on, discover how he decides what content to generate, learn how to use patterns to guide Jarvis, and one of the more important ones is learning how to stop Jarvis from repeating himself, from repeating himself, from repeating himself, from repeating himself. From repeating himself. Oh. What in the world? Anyway, let's dive into lesson one on how Jarvis thinks, the training data. The underlying AI model that powers Jarvis was trained by reading about 10% of the published internet with the goal of just understanding how people write. Jarvis has read millions of blog posts, Reddit threads, websites, newspapers, and more. Yeah, he's probably read some of your stuff. And this gives Jarvis an unbelievable grasp of imitating the human language and creating content that most find exceptional. The base training was completed at the end of 2019. That means Jarvis doesn't know about current events from January 2020 and beyond. For instance, Jarvis just doesn't know that COVID-19 happened yet. This is the point where some will freak out and say, well, Jarvis can't help me then. I write topics that are new since 2019. Well, hold your horses. While Jarvis may not know about COVID-19 or that the Lakers won the 2020 NBA championship, he does know vast amounts about coronaviruses, pandemics, Wuhan, SARS, LeBron James, basketball, the Lakers, and the NBA. And by feeding Jarvis updated information about the topic you're writing about, you'll see that you can have Jarvis still typically do a great job of writing about it. For example, if I wanted Jarvis to write about COVID-19, I would include up-to-date information in the content description. In the title section, I would write, stopping the spread of COVID-19 in 2021. And in the content description brief, I would put something like, write an article about how to stop the spread of COVID-19. Coronavirus, COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by a newly discovered coronavirus, etc., etc. You can see the different things that I included there. But all of this is relevant and new information that Jarvis may not know. And by providing him some of these facts, it'll help him write relevant content for me when I ask him to compose it. And if I wanted to write about the Lakers winning the 2020 NBA championship, I would provide information like this. In the title, I'd put the Lakers, a winning legacy. And in the content description, I'd put up, write a blog post about celebrating the Lakers winning the 2020 NBA championship with LeBron James and Anthony Davis at the helm and other relevant facts that you can read for yourself. The point is, again, I'm giving Jarvis relevant and updated information to help him as he produces content for me. By doing this and giving Jarvis a few relevant pieces of current information, you are providing guardrails for Jarvis so that he can create great content for you about topics that he has a limited knowledge of. As with all text Jarvis writes, it's likely that he will still make up some facts that you'll want to correct, but seeding him with the correct information will greatly increase the chances of him writing true information. Keep in mind that the content description should be changed throughout the writing of a document because what is in the content description impacts the content Jarvis writes each time you hit compose. Jarvis will tend to repeat the information over and over if you don't update the content description box. Rather, you should think of the content description box inside a document as the information you want Jarvis to use each time he composes text. You could be updating that for each paragraph of a document you're writing. Okay, this should help you understand what Jarvis knows and what you can expect of him. In the next video, we'll show you how our AI copywriting friend thinks and writes.